Sometimes Turbo Boost technology can cause significant damage to your laptop. And I'm quite serious. I had several mobile stations, laptop that used for professional work in 3D programs and not only. And I can assure you that all of them were very hot. Many do not know, but in most laptops Turbo Boost technology can be enabled or disabled through the BIOS. Everything is very simple, but it is done differently on each device. Of course, before doing this, I advise you to check whether your processor supports it at all. For this, you can navigate to AMD or Intel official website and find info about Turbo Boost technology. Speaking of damage, the fact is that the main function of Turbo Boost is to increase the frequency of the processor to the maximum when it's needed. Thanks to this, we get the maximum performance from our laptop. However, at this time, laptops begins to consume more energy. As a result, heats up a lot, which leads to throttling of the CPU. Overheating is not a good thing, and components like CPU or GPU are damaged over time, so keep that in mind. Not to mention that the coolers work very loudly and this annoys many users. It is also worth knowing when the turbo boost is turned on it has a bad effect on the battery life. Many will say that it's better not to turn off the turbo boost because we will lose performance for which we paid a lot of money. And you know what, here I partly agree with you. But the fact is that unfortunately laptops do not always show maximum performance even with the turbo boost technology on, this is because they have a bad cooling system and as a result CPU starts throttling. But if we are talking about desktop PCs, of course there should be no reason to disable turbo boost because it has a great cooling system which is by the way customizable, you can change the cooling system on your PC. Just keep in mind, for example, if we have a laptop that is $500 and computer, I mean that's the PC, which is also $500, the computer will always perform better than the laptop for the same price. And that's also because of the cooling system, power supply, better CPU. Cooling system also is very important in desktop PC. So let's briefly summarize. When the turbo boost is turned off, overheating will disappear if there were overheating. Also, battery life will improve and the cooler inside the laptop will stop work loudly. But the only thing we will probably lose is better performance. And honestly, I cannot say that this is a small price. So let me know in the comments below what you think about it. If this video was helpful, please like it. By the way, you can subscribe to my channel. Also, I recommend watching this video on how to save your laptop from damage.